Hi, I'm Jillian Jess with MouthpieceSports.com. I'm here at Attack Athletic Center with Chris Douglas Roberts. Chris, how long have you been training here for? Um, I've been here for about a week and a couple days. How would you describe Attack compared to other other places or what you're used to? Um, I've been pretty much everywhere, a lot of different facilities, but nothing really compares to this one. I mean, it's state of the art. It's definitely a state of the art facility. If you don't want to be in the gym all day, it's plenty different rooms that you can be in and enjoy yourself, hang out, you know. It, it, it's a beautiful facility and it also helps us get ready. Can you describe the facility? I mean, what are some of these rooms that you can go to besides the court? I know we have the workout room over there. I mean, not only the, the four courts, but you have a, a great locker room for the pro side and the college side. Um, you have a player's lounge where you can just relax. Every game you could think of, Xbox. Yeah. Um, it's a car wash in here. I mean, it, it's nothing really compares to what uh, that I've seen. Get your lip washed. Yeah, right. You can get your car washed in here while you're in here working out. And if you're too tired, it's a bed. It's a couple rooms in here that you can lay down in. So. It's beautiful. It's crazy, though. Do you feel like training at Attack is preparing you for the next level? Definitely, definitely, because Tim is giving me all of the drills that a lot of the pro teams do in the workouts. And it's definitely getting my wind up, and I can work on my weaknesses here. And by the gym being open all day, I can easily come in and get shots up or, or anything. So it's definitely preparing me. What is it like training and playing against other professional NBA players? Oh, it's great. It's great because it shows you what you're getting ready to go up against. I mean, you see it. You don't just see the Chicago players. There's players from all around the country who play pro to come here to work out. And that just shows the type of respect level they have for, for Tim and his facility. Can that be intimidating at all? No, no. Definitely not because you're a player. I mean, if you're a player, you want to play up against the best. If it gets intimidated, then you're showing that you're really not a player. Right. Got to keep that confidence level up. Right, definitely. Mine is always up. What do you feel, I know you've only been here for a week, but what do you feel like you've benefited the most from so far? Um, just, just by being here, um, by going through these workouts, I've definitely got my wind up. You know, a lot of people say that's a knock on me. I get tired or I look tired. By being here, I don't look tired or I don't get tired as fast anymore. Now you went to Memphis, went to a national championship. Can you describe that run? What was that like? I, I'm, I'm, it still hasn't hit me yet, but it, it was it, it was crazy because a lot of people dream uh, of a, a national championship run. A lot of people, and I've actually lived it, and I lived in the moment. So it, it really hasn't hit me yet. It, it'll probably hit me once. I know for sure that I'm not in college no more around this time next year, yeah. I'll probably, it'll probably hit me like, wow, I went to a national championship. Things are, things are changing now that it's going to be at the professional level. How do you think that transition from college play to professional play is going to be? It's not going to be easy because everybody is a professional now and nobody wants to get their job taken from a young rookie, you know. So it's definitely going to be hard, you know, I'm going to have my ups, I'm going to have my downs, but I'm going to fight through them, and I feel I'll be all right. Is there anything like you tell yourself mentally wise to just keep going, keep fighting through? Yeah, that's all it is. Mentally, you got to be mentally strong to play this game. So I just keep telling myself, push on. Even when I'm tired, you know, my body's hurting a little bit. I just keep saying, push on. It's going to all pay off. And it will. Thank you. Could you maybe just tell me, I just want to get a bite of your excitement that you had on this run. What do you think? one of the best things was about leading your team to a national championship? Probably just seeing all my teammates happy, you know, going into that game and everybody was happy, everybody enjoyed themselves. I mean, just being on that team was pretty much everything for me because I, I've made friends on that team that I'll know for the rest of my life. So just being on that team was really the, the thing that I really enjoyed the most. Well, congratulations again, and good luck in June. Thank you for joining us, Chris. Thank you. I'm Jillian Jesk, and you're watching MouthpieceSports.com.